options of microcontroller and processors we have in our market the natmill texas instrument nxp microchips silicon labs st microcontroller renesis infineon cypress semiconductor panasonic samsung and then intel all these guys when there are so many suppliers in the market why we need to study the arm processor itself we have fundamentally like four or five reasons we'll look into that thing let's see arm is most widely used or came into a limelight we can say like popularity only because of portable electronic device popularity from the time when uh, handheld devices like uh, we, we we had something called simputer before a mobile comes into picture or we had this uh, idea of laptop making or like mobiles pager uh, video games electronic toys calculators all this are all this are part of uh, portable electronic devices so arms major popularity is because of portable electronic device whenever we have this electronics which is portable we need a processor which consumes as low power as possible hence a low power processor becomes very very important so arm is a world's most low power processor that is available at present at present okay second point smallest size by the num by the number of gates that uses or a number of transistor that this uses it's smallest compared to a similar performing processor offered by any other com company in the market right now that's the second reason it's the smallest it's, it's size in the microcontroller is also same as a real estate business on the bangalore or in any part of the city right you increase the size you you have to pay more okay and we wish we wish our mobile should be uh, comfortably smaller right hence our processor has to be smaller in that context then there is an important part called as like high code density this is what made arm unique compared to other low power uh, controllers or processors other low power processors like arm has this concept called as thumb mode and arm mode there are two modes in arm whenever we want to execute a simple operation like addition of two numbers subtraction of two numbers very simple operation like and operation or operation something like that we can do those things in the thumb mode thumb is actually thumb is actually 16 bit mode in arm arm is actually a uh, 32 bit mode that's that's the analogy again so if i want to execute a simple operation i will go to thumb mode which is 16 bit mode i can put more instruction of 16 bit in a program instead of using a 32 bit instruction for the same thing that's where thumb mode became popular our thumb mode is a key uh, design feature in arm which gave it so much of popularity right if you take any program the complex operations in that program will be very minimal there will be one two or maximum three or four or like i can say 10% of the program there are complex or 20% of the program there are complex operations most of the programs i'm saying remaining 80% of the program it will there will be mostly simple operation like fetch the data store the data do or some simple operation then like store it back fetch it to the memory send it to another memory all these simple operations are done in 16 bit hence in the memory of 32 bit i can put more number of instructions more number of 16 bit instructions so whenever i require the complex operation then only i will go with arm mode if there is no thumb mode if there is a 32 bit memory i want to fit the 32 bit instructions into that memory the num each instruction is 32 bit in that context whether it is a simple operation or a complex operation 
the number of instructions will increase greatly so by introduction of thumb mode in a given space you can put more number of instructions that's what we call it as a code density a very high code density right next one we're very low cost why it is low cost because of its business model i think i will take this if the time permits at the end uh, arm has a versatile business model they 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 they, they have a uh, they have a total different business model we'll come to that in the end of the slide like end of this presentation if it times permit if not if i don't take up you can ask that in the question and uh, question session we'll answer it there then okay one more important feature of arm is easy to debug what do you mean by debugging debugging is finding an error of the error in the program where the error exists whenever we code and dump it to the controller then it start giving an error to understand where is an error i should know what is going inside what is going on inside a controller if i know what is going on inside a controller or a, inside a processor i can easily say like where is a error in that right so what arm did is they have attached this debugging circuit to a processor directly and made it as an integrated part of processor itself okay so what is the debugging feature in, in this uh, mostly arm uses the jtag debugging feature in the initial initial uh, structure like arm 7 tdmi what is there in our syllabus it has a jtag debugging feature what it does the J jtag circuit which is sitting next to the processor will scan all the data movement all the register content before execution of instruction and after execution of instruction and send it to a computer to a programmer right when which i can say okay this is a possible error easily if there is no such feature it is very 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 difficult to find out like where is an exact error in the in the 10000 lines of code of program it is very difficult to find so arm integrated this debugging feature to a processor and made it as an integral part of a processor okay these are the five key features why arm is so famous so famous and arm has achieved the best results in all of this it has lowest power smallest size highest code density lowest cost and very easy to debug feature these are the five reasons why arm processor is so famous are so widely used in most of the again remember this is this is hugely contributed towards portable electronic device till today we rarely use arm in the desktop computers till today we rarely use arm in a servers mainframe computers right so mostly arm is targeted to the portable electronics device what do you mean by another side like there are in the world there are more number of portable electronic devices than a desktop or a servers or the main frames that's where like the popularity of arm is so much okay right so arm has a 32 bit alu 32 bit bus bus width 32 bit registers 32 bit port arm is all in 32 bit all arm features are all in 32 bit okay everything in arm is 32 bit that that that's way i can say it on the main section hope this point is clear 